What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So this has been kind of an ongoing process um, and it's to get rid of the annoying shortcuts, notifications, the banners, also not having any redirects. Um, and this is, I would like to think, the finalized tutorial on how to get rid of it. Now, as you guys can probably see, I do have custom icons. These icons are awesome, by the way. I'll leave their information down in the description, but um, I have custom icons. This is on iOS 14.5 beta 3, so the newest beta. And uh, as you guys will see, when I jump in and out of all these applications, I get no redirects. I get no uh, notification. I get no banner. And this works so good. A big shout to whoever it was in my previous video that left a comment. I'll put it up on screen. Uh, big shout out to you uh, for letting me know this process. I think it's absolutely amazing. There's there's just no notifications, no redirects, no banners, and I love it. So to start, um, just for some information, you can customize icons with an app like Moloko or even um, like icon board. But if you guys are on the newest versions of iOS 14, these are technically broken. Um, so what I've done is I've just used the shortcuts application uh, to install um, basically um, application shortcuts and then customize the icons. It's a little time consuming, but once, you're, once you've created a, a setup of icons, you don't have to do anything with it anymore. So there is a setup period, but once you have them customized, you know, it looks really cool. And uh, it's just fun to customize, in my opinion. So that's how I've done the app icons. Now, to get rid of the notifications, that's super simple. I've covered this multiple times. You go into screen time, you go to see all activity, and then you scroll down to the notifications section here. And then if you are getting notifications for shortcuts, uh, they will be displayed here. And as you guys can see, you can't click on it. The trick for that is to swipe back to a different day and then you can swipe back forward and then you can actually select on it. And as you guys can see, I have churned off allow notifications. Um, note, if you reboot your phone, this will turn back on automatically. So you will have to come back in here and uh, turn that back off so that you're not getting the annoying um, notification as you guys can see. Now, as you can see, opened any of 96 apps, as you guys can see, two shortcuts just ran. So that will give you guys a little idea of what's going on in shortcuts to get rid of this. So I'll turn it back off and as you guys can see, we have no notifications, no banners. I think the, the big one that I hated were, were the banners. The banners are super annoying because they pop down and they're in your way and then you gotta swipe them away or wait for them to go away. So to do that, to get rid of those, what I've done is I've gone into shortcuts and I've created two automations. You will have to do two automations. Now I'm gonna uh, set them up here for you guys, uh, basically redo them so you can see how to do this. So basically what I've done is created these two shortcuts and I've told these two automations um, that if any of these 96 apps are opened to do these two actions. So the first action that you're gonna wanna do is you'll go ahead and create personal automation and then what you're going to want to select on is app. So when the app is opened and then you're going to click on choose the applications. Now this is where I messed up in the previous tutorial. You can sit here and click all of the applications. You don't have to do this individually for um, any app in specific. As you can see, you can literally go through and select every single application on your device. You don't really have to do that. You only have to do this for what applications you're going to customize the icons for. So once you've selected which apps you don't wanna get these banners for, go ahead and click on done. And then we'll do next. And then we're gonna add an action. Now the, the first action we're gonna to wanna to do is going to be uh, for assistive touch. So just type, start typing assistive. And then as you can see, there is the set assistive touch option. So this is the first one you wanna do, select on that and you want to turn assistive touch off. Now, if you guys have assistive touch on and it, you actually do use it on your phone, I don't, that's why I'm using this shortcut, it will literally turn assistive uh, touch off. But since I don't have it enabled, it's just gonna make an attempt to shut it off, which is fine because it's already off. We'll click on next, and then make sure you turn off ask before running. So go ahead and turn that off and click done. Now you have the first um, automation set up. Now the second one you guys are gonna wanna do is we'll do create personal automation 
Again, we'll do app when it's opened. Go ahead and select on whatever apps you don't want to get banners or shortcuts on, or shortcut banners rather, just like that. So once you've selected all of the applications, click on done, click on next, and now we're gonna add another action. And this, this action is just simply called number. So we'll select on number, leave it as default. It's normally 42, just click next. Again, we'll turn off ask before running, don't ask, and done. And now that you have those two automations set up and you also have um, notifications turned off in settings, you are good to go. That's all you gotta do. Now, when you create custom icons, well, I just got one here, so let's go ahead and let's jump back into shortcuts. And I'm gonna delete out these new ones because they're probably conflicting with the originals just like that. So now let's go ahead and as you guys can see, we get no banners or anything. I think it's super cool. Um, that's how you guys are going to do it for custom icons. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later. So it is incredibly nice when customizing No Jailbreak. As you guys can see, I can sit here and jump through all of these different applications without any that was weird without <laughs> what the hell oh that's gonna be a blooper I, I don't know what that was i don't i've never seen my volume randomly pop up on screen that's awesome